guys, it's Victini Gamer here, and well, judging by the title of the video and how well my Hu Tao uh, showcase has done, and since I haven't uploaded a showcase for any character in a long time, well, might as well make one right now, right? And since Beto is given out for free in 2.0, where is she? Oh, there she is. Yeah, since you're getting it, since you're gonna get a free Beto, might as well uh, do a Beto showcase, right? And Beto is my main, so uh, why haven't I made a video, you know? So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a Beto showcase. We're gonna be featuring her in a lot of teams, a, a lot of her best teams, and some other comps. Uh, and at the end, we're gonna be. Uh, Doing an overview of her and then showing you uh, my build of Beto. So uh, yeah, let's just get started. This is the Beto Showcase. So here we are in uh, Spiral Abyss. And um, the reason why I'm, I'm uh, most of my battles and showcases are going to be in Spiral Abyss is because you get uh, your Q here. So you instantly get your uh, elemental burst. And well, there's like no distractions and anything like that. And uh, I might do uh, mo mostly a uh, spiral of this, but there's also some mob battles I like to do too. Like the uh, samurai fights and everything. So uh, yeah, so the build I'm using here is Beto, Shingcho, Rosario, and Bennett. Uh, which is just a uh, complementary team for Beto, so she gets um, it's a mixed elemental team featuring one of her best supports. So uh, here we go in action. So yeah, Xing Cho uh, press that, put Rosaria Q for the crit, and yeah, as you can see, she does uh, a lot of damage. I am running the uh, the shop uh, claymore on her, the one that gives her more damage per kill. So she's probably gonna do around 10k per hit, which is quite a lot. And we also have Bennett here for the uh, attack buff as well, so she could do even more damage. So yeah, as you can see, she's doing consistent 9Ks. Yeah, I haven't even done her uh, fully charged up E yet. Yeah, even with raw E, she does like 15, 12 to 15K, which is really, really good. Alright, so this is this might be where um, we can showcase her E a bit. So I'm probably gonna distract these two. So I'm gonna do this, and then we can lower down um, the physical resistance. So here's her full counter, 42k on her full counter, without any support. So yeah, as you can see, she is really good as a DPS. <laughs> yeah, doing consistent uh, 5k damage. Go, we're finishing this up. Feeding them here. I don't really care about the, the monolith taking damage. This is mainly just a showcase. Because I, I already um, beaten this floor already with uh, three stars. So yeah, as you can see, consistent um, 15k damage. So uh, there you go, that's the uh, the Beto uh, Elemental uh, Mix team with uh, supports. And uh, time for the next team. So here's another... Um, Mixed elemental team, as, as you can see. Um, like the, the previous team, right here, about to demonstrate it right now. Beto looks works extremely well in mixed teams as well. No, don't need the uh, electro uh, resonance buff. She's melting stuff left and right. And with the Electro and uh, Chongyun's E, 
You're gonna be doing a lot of uh, superconduct damage as well. So we're gonna do that. His his E wasn't up yet. And then Jean is here for uh, heals, honestly. Um, because uh, I have Jean built as a DPS. So here we go. But the Chong Yun E. We're about to get um, the Q right here. And as you can see, a lot of damage. Just melting these guys through. Yeah, so she works well on mixed teams as well. Doesn't have to be Electro um, Resonance. This hilly. This little churl's being stubborn. There we go. We could just defeat him here. Alright. Put the E down. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, works really well. Works really well. She could uh, do a lot of elemental reactions as well. So, uh, there we go. And uh, on to her next teams, which are going to be uh, uh, having elemental resonance. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so here we are with uh, Beto on the Geo Resonance team. And again, with the Geo Resonance, uh, when you have a shield, you get an attack buff. So you're gonna see her do way more damage than before. So they get you get a 15% attack boost if you are protected by a shield um, in the Geo Resonance team. So here you go. So you can see. Around 7k per hit uh, when she crits. Really good damage. And since the sword is stacking her attack uh, when you kill a lot of things, uh, it stacks up to four times. She will do a lot of damage. So here we go, she's with the shield. Alright, let's see what she could do with uh, a shield and a full, fully charged um, proc uh, elemental skill. So let's see, we got our shields up. We'll put a Diona shield just in case too. We're gonna re-proc the Zhongli shield. Proc the Zhongli shield. No one attacked me there, so that's a shame. <laughs> I guess we'll just, uh, we'll let the sh- here's the plan, we'll just let the shield, uh, the shield Lollichurl attack us. Because the shield Lollichurl hits two times. Right. So, let's put up the shield. He's gonna attack us. 20k without a crit. With the crit, that would probably do- Around 50k damage. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, she puts out splendid numbers. So she works even on the Geo Resonance team. And as always, uh, for uh, most of these teams and maybe some of them, uh, some characters are mix and match. Like you could just replace Diona with uh, Barbara or something, since she's only there to heal. But I put Diona because of the shield. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Beto works well on the Geo Resonance team. And uh, time to move on to her next uh, good team. Okay, so this is the Cryo Resonance team. With the Cryo Resonance team, you get a crit boost uh, if the if the enemies, I believe, are affected by Cryo. So you're gonna see her crit more often on this team. And uh, I brought uh, Xingqiu. I mean, Xingqiu is the god 
of supports. I say is the best support in the game. But with Xing Chou, she, um, Beidou can get her elemental reactions off, like, um, like Electro Charged. And uh, Xing Chou can also get Frozen as well. There we go. A lot of damage right there. I haven't fully showcased her. Barbados fully charged E yet. Yeah. Right. I think I could do it right here. He's gonna attack again. 15k without crit. That's fine. That's probably gonna be amount to 30... 30k for crit damage. Right, let's defeat this. Spawn more enemies here. But yeah, with the Cryo Resonance team, you're just gonna see your crit uh, more often. Like right here. 4k or 6k, at least around there. Yeah. Almost reached. Oh, 9k! 9k is pretty good. Let's do Frozen. We can do Shatter damage right here. Yeah, see? She's pretty strong on uh, on the Cryo Res team. As you can see. And there we go! So yeah, that's the Beidou Cryo Res team. Pretty good. On to her uh, next uh, Resonance team. Okay, so this is Beidou on the Pyro Resonance team. And I forgot to mention on the last one with the Cryo Resonance that these characters are interchange are interchangeable, you know. So uh, you can replace Rosario with Chong Yun, or you can replace some um, healers with other healers. Same with this uh, Pyro Res team, you can replace Zhang Ling with Amber, or you can replace um, Zhang Ling with Yanfei, or Kli. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, you can even swap Xing Chou for Cryo or something like that. So there we go, this is her, or this is Beidou on the uh, Pyro Resonance team. As you can see, uh, she's doing a lot more damage because the Cryo Resonance buff um, makes her have more attack. So she's going to be hitting for more bigger numbers here. See, as you can see, more damage on her third hit too. Even uncrit, uh, uncrit skill, she does a lot of damage. Alright, let's get the Q back. Yeah, we forgot to put Bennett's E down. Well, no one is going to be on the, on the circle though. So unfortunate that we're not going to see a lot of damage coming from Beto. But uh, yeah, she's doing a lot more damage. See, 13k, casual 13k hit. <laughs> right. Let's do this. We get the overload damage here. So, uh, a fun fact, overload damage breaks shields. So if you're ever facing up against, say, uh, the Geo Slimes, overload can break shields. So uh, this team comp can also work well with... Uh, against Geo enemies. So yeah, here we go. Putting out the work. Yeah, there we go. And that is her, uh... <laughs> Pyro Resonance team. Okay, now on to the uh, next Resonance team before we get to uh, the double Resonance teams, which are definitely her best comps. So this is Beidou on the Electro Resonance team. This is the last team before we get to double Resonance teams, which are definitely uh, mostly everyone's best builds. So uh, on the Electro Resonance team, uh, every Electro Reaction you do uh, will gain uh, Elemental Particles back. So you definitely want to bring uh, characters that work well with Elemental Reactions like Xing Chou, 
Mona, uh, Fischl. So there we go. We basically get her Q back right here. And we got her Q back and now we could start uh, doing some elemental reactions. So yeah, as always, these teams are uh, replaceable. You can replace Xing Cho with uh, anyone else, like Zhang Ling. Or if you want, Child. But I don't think Child's gonna work since he's a DPS. But yeah, Xing Cho just is so good. He fits so well in so many teams. He is literally the god support of this game. So yeah, as you can see, she's gaining her cube back rather quickly, thanks to these uh, elemental reactions. Yeah, there you go, we got her cube back. And yeah, that's basically her Electro Resonance team. It's honestly one of her best teams, because uh, she can work well as a support too, and then she can spam her uh, Q. So uh, yeah, but it's the moment you've been waiting for. Time for the double resonance teams. So this is the first uh, double resonance team. It's the Electro and Geo double resonance team. So uh, after these uh, double resonance uh, teams, we're probably going to go to the uh, the more damaging teams. Like the uh, four-piece Verticent and see her max damage output. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. But for now, it's time to focus on the Geo and Electro Resonance team. So let's put up the shield here. So she gets all her particles back, and since uh, Albedo is giving uh, Geo particles, and uh, Fischl's giving particles as well with um, Oz, we're gonna get our Q back right about now. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, she does a lot of damage as well. Uh, when she had that shield back there. We're gonna put it up right now. So you can see seven K on the first hit of the attack. This is her full counter, by the way. That's fifty K. Fifty K. Uh, with the Geo buff. So, yeah, she, she's gonna do a lot of damage. And by the way, to get that second part of her, uh, her counter, you, ha you have to trigger it by, uh, getting hit twice. And if you, uh, if the game calls it the perfect counter, then she does more damage. So yeah, there you go. 13k on raw, um, raw skill. So yeah, she is really good on this team. Gets elemental particles and the geo attack buff. So yeah, she's really good. On to her next team. So this is the double electro uh, cryo team. So in here, Beto's gonna do uh, more crits. And also get elemental particles back, thanks to Superconduct. So she's going to do more uh, physical damage, uh, thanks to the Superconduct thing. So yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of uh, damage. 10k on physical damage hit. So this team is really, really good if you are running a physical carry Beto. Definitely. Right. Let's distract this lolly troll a bit. Right. Let's get the official Q. Let's get Beto's Q here too. Now I'm pretty sure the lolly troll is gonna charge at me at some point, so I really want that to happen. Oh, While well, his resistance is lowered. Bam! 10k without crit, so that's probably gonna do around. 25k. Yeah, as you can see, 
good damage right here. He's taking around 5k to 8k damage. Or 5 to 10k damage. 10k raw. Yeah, Superconduct is really good uh, on physical carries. And Beto is one of them. Alright, let's finish these hilly trolls off. Alright. Oh, got hit there. Alright, let's get this off. And uh, let's finish up here. We finished this sub um, one fell swoop. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, that's the Beto Electro Cryo Resonance team. And uh, we're gonna be uh, showcasing uh, Beto's last team before we move on to uh, her max damage output. And this is the last team we're gonna showcase. This is the Electro and Pyro Resonance team. And if you're wondering why I haven't done the uh, Electro Animal team, it's because the Electro Animal team uh, doesn't really help that much. It only just reduces skill cooldown and all. But uh, yeah, this is the definitely Beto's best uh, best double resonance team. Uh, in my opinion, Beto's best uh, single resonance team is the team I showcased uh, a few minutes ago, which is the Electro resonance team. And definitely her best teammates are Xingqiu, Vishal, and then any cryo support you want. Uh, I choose Diona because Diona's a healer. Yeah, but in my opinion, that is definitely Beto's best um, team. But as you can see right here, Beto's working well with double resonance. Yeah. Uh, he's putting out some pretty uh, high numbers, as you can see, with basic attacks and only basic attacks. Yeah, and on here too, she could do overload damage, pressure her opponents. Alright, we can get the full counter here. And that's 19k with, uh, if that would have crit, that would probably do 45 to 50k. So yeah, definitely, definitely this team is pretty powerful. Yeah, we're about to be finishing up, and there we go. That's basically it. And uh, now, well now, it's time to feature her uh, in the most damaging team and see uh, how hard she can hit. So uh, here we are with uh, Beto's uh, damage team. So uh, we have the usual, we have Double Pyro Resonance and Bennett, of course. We have Venti with the four-piece Verdant set, but you could, of course, replace it with any uh, animal support like Sucrose or uh, Kazuha. And we have the star of the show, Beto. So uh, as you're wondering why I put Kui on this team, it's because she could light the ground on fire. So Kui is going to light the ground on fire and I could stand on the fire and activate um, Beto's full part of her second passive. So here we go, we have the Ruin Garter, which is probably the best enemy to fight with Beto. So here we go, we're gonna be doing the usual here. Right. We're gonna light them on fire, use Venti's E, light the ground on fire around him, and then activate her full part of her E. BAM! 39k! And that's without her uh, weapon's full passive. Since I have the shop's uh, weapon. The shop's weapon basically, if I kill four enemies, uh, her attack stacks at, uh, I believe, 25% attack. So, uh, yeah. 
Alright. So he's a alright. So let's do it with the electro this time. I'm gonna activate the electro. And then we're probably gonna do uh Beto's full passive here once he finishes. His elemental resonance is low. So I can just do this. Light the ground on fire. Do our full pot over E. Bam! 39k again. So uh, yeah, she she is doing a lot of damage. And uh, if you uh, get lucky with your artifact rolls, she could probably do over 60k damage on her full uh, skill. So yeah, that is basically uh, Beto. And uh, on to the overview. So this is Beto, the captain of the Crux fleet. And uh, this is my uh, Beto build. So I uh, might as well go over the talents before I go over the constellations and the other stuff I have on her. So here's her talents. Uh, I have everything maxed out. Uh, so we have her normal attack damage, which is pretty high. I mean, she is a Claymore after all. Uh, we have Tide Collar, which is the uh, full counter, uh, as I like to call it. Where uh, if the opponent hits her, she's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, based on uh, the absorption of the attack, which is based around her uh, max HP. So, and we also have her burst. Her burst just does electro damage over time, I believe. Yeah, it just does electro damage to nearby opponents. And um, her normal and charge attack damage uh, like syncs up with her Q as well. But yeah, uh, that's her talent. Uh, time for passives. So, uh, this is the passive I'm talking about. So, uh, when you do the perfect counter, so basically when you get hit twice, uh, you do the maximum amount of damage on your type caller. So that's how Beto could do, uh, 40k, 50k, 60k damage on her Q. It's, uh, on her, uh, E, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, she's just extremely, extremely good. And her lightning storm. So uh, when you do her full counter, uh, your attack uh, gets increased by 15% and your uh, attack speed is greatly uh, enhanced as well by 15%. So she's going to be attacking a lot, a lot more faster. Not as fast as uh, polearm uh, characters, but she is going to attack just like a sword character. So uh, yeah, and her, her other passive, you could swim. So uh, yeah. And her constellations. I only have her C4, but that is basically uh, more than enough for her. Uh, she hits her peak. Uh, Beto hits her peak once she's at uh, C4. So, uh, yeah. Uh, for her C1, uh, she basically uh, gets a shield on her Q uh, based on her HP. And uh, she absorbs electro damage too. And uh, this just levels up her. Her Q, I believe. Stormbreaker's her Q, right? Yeah, it's her Q. Uh, so, this basically... Uh, sh she basically attacks two more enemies with her Q. Uh, once you activate it. This is Tide Collar. She just gets three levels. So, this is the one I'm talking about. C4. Uh, it's basically her best constellation. So, when she gets attacked... Uh, her normal attacks get an electro damage boost for 10 seconds. And um, this can just basically keep happening. As long as you get hit, you'll always have the 20% electro damage. And since her uh, Tide Collar allows her to get hit, uh, she's going to do the maximum amount of electro damage. So uh, C5 is just leveling up her uh, Stormbreaker. And this is uh, C6, the Bane of All Evil. So when you do her Q, it basically uh, reduces the Electro Resonance of enemies. So you're basically going to do even more Electro Damage. So yeah, uh, Beto is mostly an Electro Damage Dealer. We can also make her a physical, um, a physical Damage Dealer as well. So yeah, on to her weapon. Uh, I bought this. This is the Black Cliff Slasher. It's a shop item. And I have it uh, R5 as well. Uh, so 
Basically, uh, her attacks get stacked for uh, 30 seconds, and uh, she gets three stats. So basically, she is getting 72, I believe, 72 attack damage. Or 82, I actually know, yeah, I think it's 72. Yeah, so she gets 72% attack if she gets uh, three stats, and the stats are independent to each other. So you're basically, as long as you defeat an enemy um, before 30 seconds, you'll always get the attack buff. So yeah, you can use Black Cliff Slasher or any other weapon. You can even use, uh, yeah, Prototype is definitely her her second best weapon. But I do love the Black Cliff Slasher for the crit damage as well. Yeah, if you're also building a support battle, you can also use the Favonius Greatsword as well. And if you're running a physical damage attack Beto, you can use a Snow Tome Star Silver. So, uh, yeah. But her definitely her best weapon it's, is the Wolf's Gravestone. It's obviously the best Claymore in the game, right? Or the, uh, the Eola Claymore, the one that does physical damage and has the highest base attack in the game. So, uh, yeah. And her artifact set is just all Gladiator Finale. Uh, most of the rolls go from... Go to crit rate, crit damage, and attack percent. And uh, since I got kind of unlucky with my uh, rolls, I only have 40% attack or crit rate. But that's more than enough um, crit rate, honestly. As long as you have 40% crit rate on your uh, characters, you'll at least do more uh, crits. So uh, yeah, there we go. Um, that is basically Beto. Uh... My DPS Beto, at least. So, uh, yeah. Uh, tell me what you guys think about uh, Beto. She is kind of underrated, but at least you're getting a free Beto, uh, thanks to uh, 2.0's latest uh, thing with the free Beto. Uh, she works well as uh, C0 as well, if you're running her as a uh, Electro support. But if you really want to run her as an Electro DPS, you probably need a C4 Beto. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, character showcases, uh, other than, uh, you know, like, Beto and stuff, uh, leave you guys' uh, comments down below, and, uh, also leave a like. Uh, it tells me that you really enjoy these types of videos, and I might make more, uh, showcases in the future. Who knows, maybe I can make a, uh, Noel showcase. I mean, she's pretty underrated as a DPS. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.